Hello and welcome to this video. In this video we will discuss a method to clean up the temp folder with a batch file and also run this batch file during the startup of the system. We will put it in the auto start or auto start folder of Windows. Okay, let's get started. First we want to talk about what is the temp folder of Windows. Windows. So the temp folder is basically a folder where programs can put their temporary files. That's where the name is coming from. And you can access the temp folder via the Explorer by entering this into the Explorer. Hit enter and then you will get into your temp folder. As you can see, it's uh, the temp folder is per user profile. So every user has its personal temp folder. And I have told you that this temp folder is used for temporary files, for example, by programs. And I have a program here. Uh, it's called DA Form Maker. It's a software to create online forms. And we have a contact form here. And if I click preview, the program generates a preview HTML file. And as you can see, it will put the file into the temp folder. So the preview is generated as a temporary file in the folder. And that's what's in the folder, temporary files generated by programs. And so it's a generally a good idea to clean up the folder once in a while to get rid of any data which is in there to save disk space. Windows itself brings two possibilities to clean up the folder. The first one is the disk cleanup utility, which you can find in the start menu. Just type in disk cleanup and then you will find the program here. It's a small program which is available in Windows 11, Windows 10 and also Windows 7. And if you scroll down, you have here temporary files. Check the temporary files here, hit OK, and then the temp folder will be cleaned of any files. However, this is a very manual process. You have to do it uh, by starting the disk cleanup tool. There's another possibility. Uh, it's in the settings of Windows. So go to system here and there's a storage section and there we have storage sense here, which can be activated and will automatically clean up temporary files and also, um, well, other files in the system, for example, the browser cache and something like that. And if you activate this once in a while, Windows will clean up the folder. Okay, now we come to our solution, clean up the system with a batch file. And I find this very handy, this method, because it can be just executed by double clicking on a small batch file. Okay, how do we do that? So I go here to my blog post. I will put the link in the video description. And here we go. Here we have the content for our batch file. Just copy these two lines here and then run the editor, the notepad editor of Windows. Uh, notepad, not editor, notepad or any other text editor. Okay, and then we just paste the two lines in here and then we save the file. And the important thing is that we have to, uh, the, the file extension needs to be .bat. So I will clean temp.bat for batch file. Okay, here's our batch file. If I double click the file, it will be executed by the system and will automatically clean up the temporary folder. You will do that in a minute. But first, let's have a look to the to the commands which are in the batch file. So we have our temp uh, variable here. So basically we do a delete of all files in the temp folder. It's the user's temp folder. So every user has to do it uh, on its own temporary folder. So you cannot clean up uh, other users temp folders with that command. Okay, and the next thing is uh, we will loop through all the folders in the folder and uh, the temporary folder as you can see there are not only files in here but also folders and this will go through all the folders in here and will try to the delete them all not all files can be deleted as we'll, we will see in a minute uh, but it will try to delete everything which is not in use by the system at the moment so if i double click it now you will see a, a small window that's a small as a window appears from the batch file and the files are now some files are now 
uh, are missing now here. Uh, they have been deleted. Not all files, because as I said, files which are in use cannot be deleted. But for example, if we uh, start up our um, tool here to create a contact form, we will have a look that this file will be deleted. Okay, we have to wait here to test the software. Okay, here we go. We create another temp comp uh, contact form. Click preview. And we will now have this file here in our folder, temp.html. And here we go. This is our file, which was generated by our, by our software. And if I clean up, the file, as you can see, is now gone. So it tries to delete everything that's not currently in use in the folder. Okay, the last thing uh, I want to show you is how we can run the script uh, every time we start the computer to clean up the folder every time we start the computer. That's optionally if you wanted to do that, but you can also uh, just have it here on the desktop or at any other location, double click it and clean the folder once in a while. In order to run it, at every startup of the computer, uh, hit Windows key and R. This will open the run dialog here and then enter shell startup. This will open the startup folder from Windows and you can just copy the file on here and this file will now be executed every time I log in into my account here on my Windows PC and then it will clean up the temporary folder that there are no, uh, well, they'll, they'll clean all the mess, every startup of the computer. Okay, well, that's it. Uh, everything I describe here in this video is also available in this blog post here, like these two lines here, just copy them and create a batch file. And well, that's it. Goodbye.